Hey there, this is James from CodeWP, and I'm really excited to show you a brand new feature that we've added to the CodeWP editor for both free and pro plans, which is an inline code explanation feature. And this has been something that hasn't been explicitly requested, but a lot of users have needed a functionality like this. So let me just show you how it works real quick, and then I'll explain how to use it in the best scenarios. So let's say I have created this code, but I don't really understand how it works. Maybe this is just a placeholder. Maybe this is a function of WordPress. I don't really know. So I can go and highlight this specific line of code and say, explain this. Explain what I have highlighted. And what CodeWP will now do is look at the overall snippet, then look at what the user is asking about, and with all of the context, create an inline code comment that gives an explicit description of what that code does. So right here, it says, this is a part of the overarching code, but this value isn't a WordPress function. It should actually be replaced with the uh, parent page I want to filter by. This code will do X, Y, Z. I can actually go ahead and highlight the entire thing, create an explanation for that, which will be injected below. This is an inline PHP code comment. Sometimes if it's outside of the PHP, it won't display immediately like a code comment, but it will still do its job and essentially give you the entire overview of whatever has been highlighted. So this is really helpful for, I think, both the newer non-technical WordPress creators using our platform, but also the general WordPress developers using these explicit modes to create really complex things. Like maybe I'm going to create an Elementor dynamic tag and I can use my give a random prompt feature to do this. We'll create this random tag, and then I'll jump into that and create an explanation of the code. And this, I know, is going to return a learn dash uh, function, so we can actually highlight that learn dash function. And CodeWP will leverage this new feature that we've added, which also uses all of the underlying modes, training, embeddings, and other technical aspects of our AI to create these inline generations. These generations won't be saved to the snippets by default. They'll just show up within the editor itself. So this is more of a real-time way to interact and understand with the code. We did this by design, but if there's enough user requests, we'll look into actually adding them into the snippets themselves as either an inline save or some other feature, maybe a tooltip, something like that. So as this final example, I want to kind of just look through and be like, let's see... I don't really know what this does. Let's explain what this does. So highlight whatever the code you want to be explained is. It'll take a look at everything again, but it will really dive down into this and then inject an inline code example of what this is. So it will use this function with this class. The course ID is passed in. If the course ID or course variable is empty, the function will return nothing. And maybe I want to see, how does this work? What, are, what, is, what does the args array mean? I can look in, create an explanation. And this is a relatively quick process of uh, looking into the code, creating your generated explanation, and then injecting it directly into the page. And it gives you a really good just overview of what the code does. So I hope this is a very helpful feature. We're including it for both the free and the pro plans because everybody needs to understand code, not just people who pay. Uh, if you do pay, you get access to something a little bit more powerful, which is an inline chat GPT-like bot that will give a good explanation of what the code does here. And you can ask questions and kind of interact in a more uh, conversational way for the pro plans. But for the free plan, you now have access to this as well. So hopefully you enjoy it. Enjoy CodeWP. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below.